Good morning. This is Father Mike Brennan from St. Norbert Abbey. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'll be honest. As I arrived here in church this morning, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to talk about. When I got here, though, I saw Father Rod. You can see him over my shoulder in the back there. Father Rod had his 91st birthday yesterday. 91st birthday. That means he has been part of St. Norbert Abbey. He's been a priest for longer than I have been alive. Father Rod was here praying. He was here before the Blessed Sacrament, before the crucifix of Christ, simply praying. Praying his rosary, taking a little time with the Lord. And it got me thinking about how much I appreciate Father Rod and the other elders of our community, but especially Father Rod, and especially yesterday being his birthday, I was just reflecting on the man that he is, who he has been in his life of ministry. He served as a teacher at our high school here in Green Bay. He spent 34 years down in Peru, in Lima, Peru. During that time, he had the opportunity to work with uh, the missionaries of charity, to interact personally with those sisters and the people that they serve. He met Mother Teresa personally and got to know her and understand her absolute love and devotion of the poor. I appreciate the friend, the mentor that Father Rod has been to me. Often, even to this day, suggesting different articles or different scripture passages that I take, take, should take a look at. Anytime I would come home from seminary, come home for Chicago, Father Rod would be sure to greet me and say, the hand of fellowship. One of my favorite things that Father Rod will do is he'll often come up to me and he's Mike, Mike, I've got something to tell you, but not yet. Sometimes he remembers to share those things with me. Other times he doesn't. But I appreciate that he is thinking of me and thinking of others all the time. So I just invite all of us to be thankful for those that have been mentors for us in the faith, but also to be thankful for sacred moments. I was kind of rushing into church again, as I said, not quite sure what I was going to be talking about today, knowing that I had to, had to film this video and move on to whatever was coming next. But instead, Father Rod's presence here invited me into a sacred moment. So as he continued to pray, I took a moment to sit and pray, to simply be quiet with the Lord. I've also noticed over the last couple days when I walk outside, I've suddenly stopped and been a little bit slower, taking a moment the other day to just notice the stars and giving God thanks and praise for that, or hearing the, hearing the birds chirp as we move into spring here. Yeah, there's snow flurries in the sky today in Wisconsin, but the birds are here and they're singing. There are sacred moments all around us. Today, I invite you to be thankful for the sacred moments of our lives, whether that be long ago with the elders in our lives, or whether that be the sacred moments that we can step into today. As always, we close with a prayer to St. Joseph. Prostrate at your feet, O great saint, I venerate you as the father of my Lord and my God. You are the head of the Holy Family and a cause of joy and delight to the Holy Trinity. What a glory for you to be the father of a son who is the only begotten of God. What a blessing to know that you are a father to us and that we are your children. Yes, we are your children because we are brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ who wanted to be called your son. As your children, we have a right to the tenderness and goodness of your paternal heart. Accept us, therefore. Take us under your protection. Teach us to love patience, prudence, kindness, modesty, and purity. Be our refuge and solace in all our pain and all our need, both now and at the hour of death. Amen. Once again, this is Father Mike Brennan from St. Norbert Abbey reminding you that you are loved. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit.